Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Scratch Learners. I am Swati Agrawal and I am personally Masters of Computer Application from NIT Karnataka. So guys, I am really excited to share with you all that I am an upcoming software engineering intern at Microsoft. And in this video, I am going to share my journey from getting admission into NIT Karnataka to getting an internship at Microsoft. So guys, in this video, I'm going to share everything about my internship, like from which program I got the internship offer, what is the duration of my internship and everything. So keep watching the video till the end. If you have watched my previous video, then you might be knowing that I had cleared an exam in 2021. And through counseling, I got admission into NIT Karnataka for the NCA program. So in October 2021, I got the admission and the first semester started. It was the COVID time, so we were all in our home. And during the first semester only, I started with my coding journey. So in the beginning, I started with the C language. I, uh, I already knew about C and C++. Plus I have studied them in my graduation. So I just brushed all my concepts of C and started solving some coding questions on GNT. Then I brushed my C++ language concepts, like all the OOPs concept and everything. Brushed all the concepts of C++ and then I actually wanted to learn about Java. I started learning Java from Kunal Kushwaha's YouTube channel. And like while learning Java, I found myself more comfortable in Java than C++. So I considered Java as my coding language. And then little by little, I started doing BDSA in Java. So I started learning BSA in Java using his playlist from where I have studied about array, string, recursion, linked tag theory. So after following those things, I, I used to do the assignments. So basically I was coding on deep code. And then our first semester exams were about to begin. So I stopped the coding part for a while and started focusing on academics because then you have to maintain the CGP also. So it went well and we were in our home at that time. Then in the second semester, I again resumed my uh, coding part and started app development using Flutter. So I made a couple of apps using Flutter and then during the April month, we came to know about the Microsoft Engage Mentorship Program. So our seniors informed us about that and uh, we all have applied for that. So that was the mentorship program from which I had got the internship at Microsoft. So it was an off-campus internship. We applied for it in April 2022. And it was hiring for the summer interns for the 2023 batch. So we filled up the form. There was a resume shortlisting. There were uh, about two rounds of online test. And uh, after qualifying those, we were about to make a project. So there were some topics like face recognition, data analysis, and algorithms. We had to choose one topic out of them and make a project using that. So the project should be an application of that topic. Like this is a really amazing opportunity if you want to land an internship at Microsoft. So we were the mentees during that Microsoft Engaged Mentorship Program and we had a mentor like a group of 10 to 20 people were there and one mentor was mentoring all of them. So we had to report him and everything about our project and I made a project on drowsiness detection system using face recognition. So within those three weeks we have to make the project and that should be implemented uh, in web app or in mobile app. And I remember that time was really hectic. Like we had our classes going on, we had to attend the regular classes for attendance and then it was a summer season and we had to make a project on which we had no idea. Like I had decided to make a project using face recognition and I literally didn't know anything about face recognition. So like it took a lot of time to decide on which film on this topic I need to implement the project and then I decided the text tags that needs to be used in the project. And like even after that, I was not sure like how to build the model. So I learned about different packages in face recognition and uh, at last I have made the project. It needed a lot of hard work and patience. Even while doing the project, I felt like leaving it. But the learning curve was really exponential. So it was really helpful for me. To, like after getting the internship, it felt like that one month was the best time. So actually we had two days of time for submitting the project uh, and uh, in May we have submitted the project. So after around one month, I got a mail from the Microsoft. 
It was a congratulation mail for getting an offer for the Microsoft summer internship. So on on that day, I was on cloud nine. I was really happy. I informed my family, my parents, my friends about it, and they were super happy about it. Like I was one of the people who got direct internship mail from the Microsoft after the project. Some people got the mail for the interviews also, and some got rejected too. So for them, there were uh, one or two rounds of interview, and so the company actually evaluated the projects and uh, depending on some criteria, they got the direct internship for some students and some students were being asked for one or two rounds of interviews and then they got the internship mail. And I was one of those lucky people who got direct internship from Microsoft. So that is how I landed an internship at Microsoft and it was completely an off-campus drive. And this is a good example for those who are pursuing BCA right now. Like after BCA, they might be wondering to pursue MCA, but they might be thinking during that there is a little scope in MCA. So, guys, you can see uh, this was an off campus drive, and then you can also get selected for it. So, guys, this program is really a great opportunity for those who want to land their career into Microsoft. And, like, from here, you can get the internship, and after the internship, the company will be giving the BPO offers for those who have performed well and depending on their interviews. And that was all about this video. If you want to know about the complete process of this mentorship program or if you want to know more about my project, then feel free to drop a text in the comment section below. And if you guys want to connect, then you can connect to me through LinkedIn and the LinkedIn ID is given in the description box of this video. So if you found this video informative, then do like the video and share the video with your friends and uh, those people who are going to apply for the Microsoft in this upcoming uh, internship season and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.